So I heard you want to PvP? In this series, I will share the best weapons from each archetype so you have the tools you need to succeed. In today's video, we will be discussing the top 5 hand cannons for PvP. Whether you're a new player or a returning player, this is a great place to land. What's good guys, it's Zen, and if you know me, you know I'm not going to waste your time on my videos, so let's hop right into it. Now for our number 5 pick, we have the Palindrome Adept. This weapon is unfortunately no longer in the game, which is the main reason it is ranked so low. However, if you manage to grab a god roll in the previous seasons, this weapon still holds up excellently. With amazing base stats and perks like Quick Draw Rangefinder, it still decimates opponents from an amazing range. Another thing holding Palindrome back is the incoming Rangefinder nerf next season, which will effectively remove the damage drop-off buff that Rangefinder gives hand cannons. However, in the current season, it is still a solid option and is uniquely in the second slot, allowing you to pair it with exotics such as the Chaperone. For our number 4 pick, we actually have three hand cannons, Awestringer, Fatebringer, and Ias Luna. All three of these are 140 RPM hand cannons, giving them the most optimal TTK in their respective ranges. The reason I have placed all of them at number 4 is in part due to this identical RPM, but also they are all in the first slot and share very similar base stats and perks. Ias Luna can be farmed from the final boss of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon, making it the current easiest one to farm. This weapon has the most base range out of any of them, giving it an effective 29 meters of range. It rolls with Rangefinder in the first column, then has 4 solid choices in Kill Clip, Headstone, Moving Target, and Snapshot Sights, making it easier than most weapons to find a god roll. However, I wouldn't recommend going out to farm this if you're looking for a future-proof hand cannon due to the impending Rangefinder nerf. Next up is Fatebringer Time Lost. You can obtain it from Vault of Glass by completing the Master Templar Challenge. This hand cannon has the highest handling and aim assist out of the three, meaning you can pull it out faster and your headshots will land more often than the rest. It has 28 meters of effective range, which is pretty much the exact same as Ias Luna. Another thing setting it apart is being able to slot on Adept mods, namely Adept Range or Adept Icarus Grip, for a whopping 10 increase to either stat. Perhaps the best part of Fatebringer is it rolling with Explosive Payload, which similar to Rangefinder decreases its damage falloff. Explosive Payload also gives the gun a bit of AoE damage, so if an opponent is one shot and just retreated behind a wall, you could potentially use this to finish them off. Dissimilar to Rangefinder, there are no announced Explosive Payload nerfs. In the second slot, you can choose between Eye of the Storm, Opening Shot, and Kill Clip, all great options. Finally, we have Awestringer. This gun has the lowest base stats of the three, but by a very minimal margin. It rolls with either Rangefinder or Opening Shot, then Eye of the Storm in the second slot. The thing that sets this gun apart from the other two is that it's craftable, meaning under ordinary circumstances, it is the easiest god-rolled hand cannon to acquire. Unfortunately, starting in Lightfall, you are no longer able to purchase Red Borders from a Helm vendor for this gun, meaning the only way to craft it now is to use your Deep Sight Harmonizers on Awestringers you buy from either Xur or Banshee. If you have nothing else to use your Harmonizers on, and really don't want to farm Vault of Glass or Grasp of Avarice, I can attest to the power of this hand cannon personally, but in my opinion, it would be a waste of Deep Sight Harmonizers. Do with that what you will. All three of these hand cannons are great options. If I had to pick one, personally I'd go for Fatebringer, but it all comes down to which activity you want to farm. For our number 3 pick we have both Igneous Hammer and Round Robin. Round Robin is brand new to 21 and brings some uniqueness to the table catapulting its viability. First of all, it's Strand, so it shoots green bullets, which is very cool. On a more serious note, this is the first 120 RPM hand cannon on the list. If you didn't know, 120 RPM hand cannons have the best range out of any hand cannon archetype. For reference, this weapon has 6 more meters of effective range over Awestringer. They are also more forgiving. 140s require 3 headshots to kill, but 120s only need 2 headshots and 1 body to kill. Round Robin also rolls with Kill Clip, and when this perk is active, you only need 2 headshots to kill. More on the range, there is a consensus in the community that 120s are the best right now due to the SMG meta that we are in. 
140s fire in ranges that SMGs can compete in, while 120s can be used completely outside of this SMG range. This weapon also gets the new Keep Away perk, which increases, among other things, the range stat by 10 when you're not near enemies, which is no joke. This gun also gets Elemental Capacitor and Opening Shot, but based on my experience, Kill Clip is your best option here. Your other option for 120s is Igneous Hammer. However, this gun is no longer available to obtain, which is why I will not elaborate on it too much. Igneous Hammer has way higher stats all around compared to Round Robin, and an excellent pool of perks to boot. These weapons do not compete at all though, since Igneous Hammer is a second slot energy hand cannon, and Round Robin is Strand, making it a top slot. So assuming you have both, you can just use whichever will allow you to pair with the second weapon that you wanted to use. Both excellent, excellent options. For our number 2 pick, we have Rose. This weapon is simply amazing and a very solid contender for number 1. The only reason it isn't number 1 is due to it unfortunately no longer being available. This is another 140 RPM weapon, but the main thing setting Rose apart from our number 4 picks is it being a lightweight frame with some insane base stats. If you didn't know, lightweight frames not only boost your mobility by 20 while holding them, increasing your strafe speed, but they also boost your sprint speed. Insane stuff. Rose also has the highest handling and aim assist out of any of the top column hand cannons we've mentioned so far, making it very snappy and accurate. With meta options like Slide Shot, Perpetual Motion, Explosive Payload, and Opening Shot, this hand cannon is absolutely amazing and is widely considered best in slot. Hopefully it makes its way back into rotation soon. For our number one pick, we have the exotic hand cannon Ace of Spades. You can get this weapon by owning the Forsaken pack and purchasing it from the exotic kiosk in the tower. This gun has an intrinsic perk similar to Kill Clip, which gives you a very sizable damage bonus for reloading after a kill. The difference between Ace Perk and Kill Clip is that this perk does not expire unless you switch weapons. It cannot be overstated how powerful this is. First of all, it simply just makes the gun extremely forgiving. One head, two body shots will kill Guardians when this perk is active. Additionally, you can even have a bit of a meme build with the Radiant Dodge and Ace Perk combined, giving you free 2 taps. Ace of Spades also has the benefit of keeping up your radar while you aim down sights. This is very useful for situations where enemies are trying to flank you in the competitive playlist. And that's the top 5 everyone! Now you might have noticed, pretty much every gun has some trait making it better than the next. That's because this truly is up to preference. If you don't care about using a special exotic, go ahead and use Ace of Spades. If you really wanted to use Chaperone, go ahead and slap on Palindrome. Despite me putting rankings on them, every single one of these hand cannons will have you putting in the work in the Crucible, and you can be confident that with them, your wins and losses won't be determined by your guns, just by your input. If you found this video informative, be sure to subscribe as I post Destiny 2 videos every single day. I have this goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and if everyone watching this subscribed, yes you, you, if everyone watching subscribed, I would hit that by the end of the week, which would be absolutely insane. Either way, appreciate you watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.